Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to All About Jamie. We are pending many house tours. I know you guys are looking forward to it. And in the next few episodes, I will be showing all of you different parts of my new home. Today, we are going to start with the kitchen tour. I hope you guys enjoy this. Today, I will be showing you guys some of my favorite tea time food. These are quick and easy recipes that you can create in a jiffy, doesn't take too much time, and they are definitely no rocket science, especially when I am going to show you all how I incorporate my smack appliances into this. But first, let's start with the kitchen tour. I decided on an open concept kitchen because I feel that it is more interactive and especially when I have chefs coming over to cook for my guests and they can actually see how the food is being prepared in the kitchen. So this is definitely my idea of a dream kitchen. I have got display shelves. If you notice, I don't have any top shelves because I really wanted to have more display spaces. As you can see, I like to display my bases, some of my favorite like salt and pepper shakers, and of course, the dried flowers. I feel that they add such a touch of warmth to the whole. So guys, here is my coffee and tea station um, where I can enjoy my morning coffee just sitting right here. And making coffee has been such a dream with the smack bean to cup coffee maker as I like to use coffee beans. I just feel that it is a lot more organic that way. And this machine really makes it so much easier. It's where I keep my extra coffee beans, more teas, different different kinds of teas. I especially enjoy my Chinese teas, which are right here. Oops, okay, that's cups. <laughs> and right here, I have my steamer oven and my grill oven to make it very convenient for us when we want to um, create recipes like our roast and our meats and we can easily serve our guests at the dining table. I've always dreamed of having a marble kitchen counter and backsplash. This one is a color cafe gold marble, which is like my dream marble for the kitchen. This is probably one of my favorite spaces in the kitchen. It's where I could display all my pastas, my spiced bottles, some teas, and it is a spot where I find that it's very necessary because then um, it's easily accessible because it is just so organized. And you guys must be wondering why I need so many fridges in the home. Uh, first of all, uh, the fridge in the dry kitchen is for aesthetics. So I like to curate my drinks and my fruits nicely in this fridge. Whereas the larger fridge that is in my white kitchen is for things like meats, my dog food, etc. And we don't have to be super neat about it. And of course, in my bedroom, I've got a pantry fridge and of course, a beauty fridge for my face mask. This tab, I selected especially for my kitchen. I like how vintage it looks. I actually have to custom this mixer and tabs from Morocco uh, and it is purposely made to look 
age like if you see that it's not so shiny and there are spots around and that is the look I wanted to achieve not that this is an old tab that was with me for like 50 years but um, yes I do admire how uh, vintage it looks and I just love the aesthetics of it and this is my walk-in tableware closet. I have always wanted to have a tableware closet and finally, I'm able to have one. You guys know how I love entertaining and I also love collecting tableware, glasswares, anything that would be pretty on the table. And I don't always like my table settings to be the same. So throughout the years, I have actually collected different, different designs where I can mix and match for a different vibe each time I entertain. Please come in! I will be sharing with you guys two easy and quick recipes today. The first one would be salmon pate and the second one would be lemon ice cream but first let's go harvest some lemons in my lemon orchard lemon orchard. Today I'm going to pick some lemons for my recipe. So guys, I hope you like my little lemon orchard right here. The ones behind may look a little bit green right now, then that's because we harvested a whole lot of lemons last week when we were entertaining some guests at home. Why do I like to grow my own lemons? Because I like to be sustainable um, and also grow my own lemons. I know exactly how organic my own um, crops are. I try to grow as many edibles as possible. If you can eat it, I'm growing it. I'm also going to cut some leaves off this lemon mito tree. I've actually had this tree for maybe like over a decade. And when I first got this tree, it was very, very small and look how tall it has grown. I actually uprooted this tree from both my old homes and brought it with me whenever I move. So you can see how much I actually love this. I'm going to cut it from the top because I don't want it to look too bare in the center. I think we've been like I think we've been harvesting too too many leaves from the center, so I'll just do it from the top. So recently I got a different breed of lemon mito, which is this small little shrub right here. Um, this one is actually the Japanese breed of the lemon mito and this one is the Australian breed. So what is the difference? Well, the, um, the Japanese one, I feel it is indeed a little bit more fragrant. I'm just going to pull this out and... Let's do a fragrant test. A stronger scent, which means more flavour when you steep them for your teeth. And now we are in my herb and vegetable gardens. Over here, I grow many vines, herbs, things that I need in my daily cooking. We are going to be getting some minced leaves for the ice cream. That's enough, and also I need 
some dill for the salmon pate. Now let's get started on our first recipe, which will be the salmon pate. What we will need for this would be 200 grams of smoked salmon, 100 grams of cream cheese, and 50 grams of double cream. I'll be using some dill in the recipe as well because I feel that fresh dill goes so well with salmon. I will be using these appliances from Smack to create this recipe, the juicer and the hand mixer. Now let's get started. We'll need the juice of half a lemon. Next, I'll be using the hand mixer to blend everything together. I'm going to put all the ingredients into this hand mixer. A dash of pepper. I like to enjoy this recipe with some Ritz crackers. Yummy! Next, I'm going to show you guys how I make lemon ice cream. I will be using this juicer again to juice the 200 ml of lemon juice and you need some honey to taste, 50 grams of thickened cream and that's about it. I like to add a little bit of lemon rind in my lemon ice cream to give it a little bit of uh, so this is the ice cream mixer that you can um, choose to buy to use with the stand mixer and you can easily make ice cream with this extra um, ice cream maker. So I've had this frozen in the freezer for the last 18 hours and now I am going to add the lemon juice inside and the thicken cream I will also be adding in a teaspoon of honey to taste I don't really like my ice cream too sweet so I think a teaspoon of organic honey is enough. Oops, sit the spring paper to the side plates of the stem mixer. I'm going to set this into the freezer for a little bit for it to thicken further.
cream is ready, I'm going to garnish it with a little leaf of mint. So guys, here you go. This is my quick and easy afternoon tea. And the smack appliances I've used make them even more simple and easy to use. So if you like to elevate your cooking experience, do check them out. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you all in my next video. Ciao! And then mix it together, right? In a boat? Oh, I swim out!